And now it's time for five or eight or nine things to watch with your host, Max Negan. Oh, hey, how you doing? Hey, welcome to the show. All right, welcome to five things to watch. Or is it nine things to watch? I'm not sure. So well, this is a show where we give you things to watch. And our show today features special guests who are either living or working in the house. Let's get started with five things for you to watch. Here we go. So I'm going to give you three comedies to watch for your first set of things. I'm going to say it's a comedy trilogy. So The Office, Parks and Rec, and Community. Right? What do you think, Abby? Those are three we're going to watch, right? I don't know, Dad. Okay. Well, um, obviously uh, not that excited by those um, first picks. Okay. So anyway, so The Office, you can either watch Michael Scott or David Brent, and it's a hilarious thing that you're going to be able to watch. And then after you watch that, tearjerker of a finale for that, you can go into Parks and Rec, Leslie Nope, Ron Swanson, Andy, April, Tom, Donna, Jerry, Larry, whatever. One of the most satisfying season finales ever for Parks and Rec. And to complete the trilogy, you go watch Community. It's a masterpiece of a sitcom. Dan Harmon made it. Okay, so I'm going to try um, with another um, audience in my house, and I'm going to try to pitch them on a couple of documentaries. Let's see if they like what I've got for that. I'm going to try to sell two documentaries to One is called Wild Wild Country, and the other one is called It Started as a Joke. What do you, you all want to watch? Some documentaries with me, or? Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm going to rethink this idea, but Wild Wild Country, it's this religious group, except they're like a cult, and they do things like poison the food supply, or they're attempting to. One of the people who goes up against them is the co-founder, one of the co-founders of Nike. It's crazy. It's an amazing true story. Another great doc is one. It's called It Started as a Joke. You got to buy it, but it's worth the five bucks to rent it. Uh, if you like Bob's Burgers, which is another cool uh, series that you can watch, um, you'll hear the voice of Gene, Eugene Merman. It's this great, poignant story. It's got lots of stand-up comedy, so it's hilarious. But it's also got like great family moments, cancer, moving on through life. It's got all these things. It's a really, really good movie. Okay, I'm going to nerd out a little bit with a diff little bit of a different audience. Let me see if I can get them to have a different audience now. To pitch like two sort of nerdy, like film nerd movies. One is called Eight and a Half. Uh, it's by Fellini. And the other one is Rashomon by Kurosawa. So what, would you watch those maybe with me or maybe? No. This idea of audience participation isn't working so well. Eight and a Half. It's Fellini. It's amazing. It's a classic, classic movie. I've watched it half a dozen times every time I find something new. Rashomon's classic Kurosawa movie. It's a murder mystery told from four different eyewitnesses and uh, it's just an amazing, amazing movie. You'll love it. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. I think I have the perfect audience for this last thing I'm gonna recommend, so let me go check that out. Here we go. The heater went out and so we have to get the heater fixed. So my last thing to suggest to you is The Wire. The show, The Wire, and they're they're fixing a bunch of wires in there. so. I'm trying to tell the, the HV, HVAC guy to watch. All right, he doesn't really, he's not into this show either. I, I got like nobody who's into this show. I don't know what's going on. The Wire is just unbelievable. You get to the end of season three, they wrap up like every storyline, like 50 storylines in this three and a half minute montage. It's That's like worth watching three seasons just to kind of sit through that montage at the end of season three. It's as good as people say. It may even be better. I know I'm supposed to give you five suggestions and I don't know how you tally things up. I tally it in a different way, but number one was the comedy trilogy, Office, Parks and Rec, and Community. I gave you the documentary double feature, Wild Wild Country, and it started as a joke. The film nerd twin bill of Eight and a Half and Rashomon. And then number four, or number eight or nine, whatever it is, it's The Wire. And so that means I've only given you four, and I have uh, I can bring in one more film to you. And so I'm going to go to an up-and-coming film analyst uh, you know, scholar, uh, and he's gonna add a few more uh, to the list. What What's your favorite movie to watch? Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Cars. Cars. What else? Dump truck. <laughs> Dump trucks. What else? 
Broke car. Broke car. Broke car. Eh. Baby Shark. You know, I mean, it's a classic. It's two and a half minutes, and you'll have it on loop in your brain forever. So, those are my five, um, along with a little assist from everyone who is either in my house, living or working, whether they wanted to or not. It didn't really matter. It's, it's my TV show. So, I uh, hope you enjoy watching, and uh, go wash your hands. Tune in next time when Max will give you another five or eight or nine things to watch. We'll see you next time, if there is a next time. <laughs>